So I just said goodnight to my boyfriend. <laughs> and I'm crying because I'm going through a lot with my dentist. And it's stressing me out. It's making me very concerned. And I normally every night when we end the call, I'm very strong and very kept together and very like, you can do this and very positive. But tonight, I don't normally cry after recent and I'm usually the strong one. But tonight I just I couldn't, I couldn't keep it together. And, you know, those people would be like, no, you're being overdramatic. You can talk to them tomorrow. What people don't understand is I don't get physical touch. My family doesn't hug. We don't high five. We don't handshake. We don't do anything that has to do with touching. So... These video chat is the only time that I can see with another person that I love deeply. <laughs> A person that being with them feels like physical touch. I never met my boyfriend in person. We have plans for March. But if you recall, March is still three months away. I love my boyfriend so much. And he has changed my life. For the better. He has saved me countless times. He has made me feel safe and welcomed and loved. And he's like home. When my home isn't home. My home is just not home. And like I said, I'm always put together. I'm always positive. I'm always. I know it's hard. You can do it. But tonight, all nights, I just. It breaks me to say goodnight because he has to go to bed early and get up early. And I am spent all night alone. And it's really hard. People don't know how hard. Eleven hours alone. People just don't understand how it feels to say goodnight to you, your love, and then sit there after the call trying to keep it together and not bawl my eyes out because I won't be able to talk to my boyfriend until that afternoon next day. Me and Miles on the weekdays we talk from 8.45 to 11.30. On the weekends we talk from 9, 9.15 till however long we want to talk. Until he gets tired because of course I'm a night owl and so I'm never going to get tired. don't understand how hard the weekdays are. And the weekdays are stressful for me because I'm always making appointments and having to reschedule things and go see people and get things done during the week and it's very, very stressful and very overwhelming and because I'm not a people person, going out in public, it's the most draining thing ever. 
and then the weekends come and I get really excited because, you know, I get to talk to my boyfriend and I get to hang out with him and we don't have to end the call early. But then Sunday comes around and we just burn it all. show how much I love my boyfriend how much he means so so much to me how much he is my world my rock my home and I know people would be like home is not a person home is a person when a place isn't home you got to replace it with something and he is that something he's the only person that I can go to and be like bawling my eyes out and still feel safe enough to express what I feel without fear <laughs> when you don't get enough time with that significant other the person that makes you feel so safe break a person and every night at the end of the call it breaks me because all I want to do is hang out with him all I want to do is be with him all I want to do is be talking to him and I can't I can't do that it, it hurts and you know He has this thought in his head every once in a while, and it's not him talking, it's his depression. I'm saying that if it hurts so much, if you are hurting this much, and you are missing me so much, maybe you can go find somebody that can be there. You know? I'm used to the conversation, so it's nothing new. I've heard it a million times before. And I always tell him that I found my one and only. I don't want to live a life without you. And that usually makes him realize his depression's wrong. And I'm right. But... he's watching this. I love you so much. I wish you knew how much. I wish you knew. I wish I could describe how much I love you. How much you make me happy. How much I feel safe and loved and wanted and accepted around you. I wish you knew all of it. But you know, you know my autism, I just can't put things into words. It's just a feeling. Something I feel inside. And I wish you could feel it too. And you know you feel it in your own your own way. But it's specific to a person kind of thing. You know, every person loves somebody to an extent. And you gotta feel it yourself and you wish other people could feel exactly what you feel, but you can't. That's exactly what it is. I hope one day somebody builds a tent you to feel somebody else's love for that person like a machine basically you could sit in and then it like generates your love and then other people can like feel how strong your love is basically for that person i wish somebody would make a machine like that because it would it would change the world for everyone
it's just as much as people saying like dogs can talk like if someone made machines like dogs can talk or anything but i feel like it would be really like big if we had something like that because people would better understand somebody's emotions if they could also feel them but yeah that's just me bawling my eyes out for missing my boyfriend just a little talk because I haven't done it in a while. I thought it would, uh, I don't know, get some stuff off my chest and have a good cry. <laughs> of course, most people would be like, oh, you're crying on camera, it must be fake. No, I don't cry in front of anyone except my boyfriend. And for me to cry on camera is a big deal because I don't do that. That's not my thing. Most of the time when I cry, I, it's in my own corners. It's just me. I don't think anyone deserves to know why I'm crying or that I'm crying or anything. Because I was raised that I don't have a reason to cry. That, that my life is perfect, basically. So I've learned to silently cry in my own room and wipe away my tears and be happy when I walk out of my room. So me crying on camera is a big deal. So if you witness that, be lucky that you're witnessing it because it doesn't happen often. So, that's it. Thanks for listening. Love you. Love you.